And first and five, not guilty. That's the verdict a jury returned today for a man accused of killing a teenager. He and his cousin, who has yet to go on trial, were accused of killing 16-year-old Sebastian Diaz back in September of 2020. Diaz's family says they're distraught and saddened by this not guilty verdict. But Duarte's attorneys told Garrett Berger that the jury did follow the law. Absolutely. His defense team argued self-defense, calling this a drug deal gone wrong and telling us that their client was along for the ride. The prosecution said Diaz was at a north side apartment complex to sell Duarte and his cousin drugs. Surveillance video showed them walking up to the SUV Diaz was driving and running off less than a minute later while the SUV reverses. Three passengers are seen running from the vehicle as Diaz gets out and collapses. One person is seen running back and appears to reach in. Though the defense say no gun was recovered, they do say Duarte saw one. He saw an individual in the vehicle with a gun. Uh, when they made a sudden movement, he feared for his life. He and uh, his family member shot in return. Um, and unfortunately, a young man did die. Diaz's family sent us a statement saying in part, quote, today's verdict means there is no accountability for the person who murdered Savvy, even though he confessed to being there and pulling the trigger. Our family remains heartbroken that justice was put in the hands of 12 random jurors and justice was not served with the verdict by someone responsible for his death. Now, Duarte still faces a separate charge of robbery in a different incident, and his cousin, Julian Vera, still faces a murder charge. The DA's office declined to comment, citing pending cases. Live in the newsroom, I'm Garrett Berger, Case at 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.